Okay, so this video continues on from the one talking about um, network the network interfaces configuration file and the ifconfig command. Um, so what you can see is that if we type ifconfig we've got those same two interfaces with the uh, changed IP address that we had before and uh, we can go and have a look at the, the file that is actually controlling that um, which is this thing here. What, uh, what we can also do, um, what you'll notice is that I've added two additional lines here and I'll explain what those do in just a moment. But before we do, um, we quite often want to know not just what the network interfaces are set up to talk to, but how they are set up to route information. And there is another command to do this called, surprise, surprise, route. So if we type route, it will list the route table. And this is, if I clear the above and type that again, and spell it correctly, um, we can see the, the table of routes that this machine knows. This machine only has one entry in its route table and it's the line that starts with 10.0.2.0. What that means is that this machine only knows how to deal with traffic destined for the 10.0.2 network. If it gets traffic for any other network, so if its traffic starts with IP addresses anything different to 10.0.2, uh, that traffic will be discarded because this machine does not know what to do with that additional information. Um, if this machine was sitting between two networks though, that would be a real issue because it could get uh, packets destined for a different uh, a different location, maybe the 10.0.3 network, for example. And um, so, what we would usually want to do is we want to educate our machine for how to do with uh, how to deal with um, traffic destined for networks other than what it is already on. So this machine is only on the 10.0.2 network. And how we do that is once again through the etc network interfaces file. Um, so remember this route table because we are going to modify it. Uh, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to add a new specific route. And doing that is pretty simple. Let's say I know that this computer should also be a member of the 10.0.3 network. I need to tell it where it should send 10.0.3 information. I need to add a route. And to do this, I go back and I edit that um, etc network interfaces file. So let's jump back into that. This line here, which I prepared earlier, uh, if I uncomment it, this will add that default route. And rather than me typing it out, let's just go through it step by step. So post up is very simple. That just means only apply this change once this interface has gone up. And it's everything after that that actually makes this change. IP route add, that's self-explanatory, add a new route. The route we're going to add is to a new network. Like I said, it's to the 10.0.3 network. And remember, an IP address that ends in a zero doesn't refer to a machine, but refers to that network as a whole. So I'm saying I want to add a route to the 10.0.3 network, and I type that by typing out those four numbers there, particularly the dot zero. The slash 24, this is the net mask. So remember, a slash 24 corresponds to this 255.255.255.0 net mask. And then the via, the last bit of this, says where do I want this information to go? If I know ultimately that it needs to find its way to the 10.0.3 network, where do I want to send it in the uh, in the interim if I'm not a member of that network. And so I've said, hey, there is a machine with the IP address 10.0.2.2 who knows how to deal with traffic destined for that other network. So just send it to that machine and that machine will deal with it. We're since essentially just outsourcing our, um, outsourcing our problem and saying send it to that other different machine. So there we go, I've made that change now, but just like before, it hasn't taken effect. And I can tell that because if I exit and I type route one more time, my route table has not changed. Um, so let's now make that change. I'm going to take that interface down and uh, some of you will be aware that I just did something uh, very silly. What I should have done is I should have taken down the interface before I started editing that file. This is pretty stable for things like changing IP addresses, but for changing routes this can uh, create a bit of a problem. So here's hoping I haven't broken everything. Let's give it a shot. So I'll take that interface down now and then I'll attempt to bring it back up. 
Okay, and that's come back up with our error. So if I type if config, for example, I find I still have the IP address, nothing else has changed. But watch what happens when I type route. Now, my route table has two entries. Uh, so now my machine knows how to deal with traffic for the 10.0.2 network. It's on that network, it should already know. And I've added a new rule which says, if you get some unfamiliar traffic destined for the 10.0.3 network, send it on to this other particular machine. In your case, the machine uh, that you want to send it to, the equivalent of that 10.0.2.2 address, uh, you will change that depending on where you want your traffic to go. But hopefully some of you will also notice that's really irritating because that means I have to add a new rule in for every single possible network and that is just too much work. That is why we have a default route. And so the last example I'm going to show you is how to add a default route. A default route is where this will send traffic that it doesn't know what to do with it, don't match any of these other rules. And once again we set that in the etc network interfaces file. So if I go back to that, what you can see is the other example on here is how to add a default route. So I'm going to uncomment that. Um, again, it's post up IP route add, all the same as before, but instead of a number, I add the word default. And this is just a default route. It's where to send information, traffic, packets that you don't know what to do with. Via, I'm going to send it via a different IP address this time. So I'm going to say uh, the 10.3.0 network is special, send it to this fella, 10.0.2.2, um, and everything else should go to this other person, 10.0.2.1. And because it's a default, I need to specify which interface I'm talking about, which is what that div F0 line means. So once again, let's exit, yes. Um, take the interface down which I should have done again and let's attempt to bring it back up here we go uh, let's check our IP address there we go still the same as before and if we have a look at our route table hey presto at the top now we've got a default route um, it's added it to this uh, this route table and uh, if I want to remove entries from the route table so let's let's go back and get rid of those two changes I just made you can probably figure out how to do it um, Let's do it right this time and take the interface down first then we edit this file I'm gonna comment these two lines out exit yes uh, and then bring that interface back up and then route and our route table is back to normal so uh, those route changes that we made there's a persistent across reboot um, and that is how you make changes to a route table on a machine like this